Hi everyone. This is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. And today we're going to go ahead with the Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, I came over to the beach to give you guys some meditation, give you guys some ocean, some peace, and how calming and relaxing it is to be here and do this for you. So I'm just going to jump right into your reading for you, start shuffling and speak with spirit, and we'll just take it from here, okay? So thank you, spirit, for clarity, insight, and guidance. Thank you so much, clarity, insight, and guidance. Uh, man, I, I did a cancer reading, and it really shook me up. Like, if you guys get a chance to see that, you'll see why. Like, it really especially part two of it. It really, it's a whole complete story one and two, but part two really, really took me there. So I'm just putting back my inflow energy because that one, that was a powerful, power, powerful reading. So thank y'all Capricorns for tuning in with me. And I did it behind the scenes. I started to do your reading Capricorns and I was all discombobulated. I kept calling you guys cancer. And then, of course, uh, it was a storage issue and it just cut off. So it was perfect. So I just um, I uploaded it as a behind the scenes. <laughs> Pretty powerful. But that that reading really, really took me there. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to shuffle, speak to God, spirit, the divine guardian angels and ancestors please give us clarity insight and guidance let us know what we need to see hear know any insight guidance or clarity you can give us we will take it this is a timeless reading anytime you see it it's good so once so I shuffle I'll cut the cards and we'll be good to go Oh, I like it. We're going to keep that one. That was flush. So I'm ready to cut the cards, y'all. We trust you in all things, Spirit. Please speak to us through this reading in these cards. Let your will, will be done. Thank you very much. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck card. Whoa, death. Holy smokes. So this could be a physical death of someone. It's super dark, y'all. Let me turn this up. So this could be a physical death of someone where, you know, we we live and we die, y'all. That's the ultimate contract is we, we live and then we, we our body expires. So this body is only meant to be here for a time. And a lot of times we have destiny and fate that we meet. So, yeah, through life we got our own free will decisions. And then we have destiny and fate. In the faithful day, when it's our time to go, we all meet this. We all meet death. We all transcend. We all ascend and go to the next stage in our life, wherever we are in our life. Be it how we treated one another. There's different stages because it's all about soul growth. So this is about coming back and paying karmic debt, coming back and learning what you didn't learn in the last life, lifetime, and perfecting it and learning it this time. So we do have some people next to us. It's like a diabetes, like get together, talk or something like that. So bless them over there. But this is the death this could be the death of the old you bringing in the new you a lot of times we have seasons in our lives and you know we might think that season is going to last forever and that season comes to an end and we're shocked when that happens i know i am that it happened to me and my queen but the death came and you know we're no longer together in the physical i'm here in the material and she's all around me in in the spiritual realm we haven't disconnected we'll be together forever she's my guardian angel but death comes for all of us it's a part of the contract to live here so it's, there's nothing to be afraid of with death there's nothing to be afraid of 
life continues. As soon as this body expires, you keep living. You, you keep living in your spiritual form. You do not stop living. All this, you go somewhere else, no. Heaven is in the space between. The space between you and me. It's not away from you. Yeah, we might go to the stars, but we can come right back here and we can be with the ones that we need to help spiritually. So, you know, we're divinely connected and protected. So if death comes for someone you love, just know it's a part of the life process. And we all have to go through this. And it's a part of our spiritual graduation, karmic ties, karmic bonds in the contract of life. So be it someone actually passing or you moving on to the next stage in your life, this is very powerful. And, you know, it's a blessing. Don't look at it as anything else but a blessing. Okay? All right. So we're going to move on and get right into your reading. Oh, I got to do the process. Let's see. Top to bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, Capricorns, let's get into your reading. First card out the gate. These bandanas with the wind be tripping me out. I'll be looking on camera sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we got right out the gate. Holy smokes. The past life love connection. Wow, how beautiful. So this is all about maybe a friend of the past, someone that you used to date or a friend that you love a lot. You haven't seen each other in a while and you're going to be able to spend time together. Or this could be someone you dated, married, were married to in a past life and you guys have come back and come back to life in this life, be it resurrection or reincarnation and now it's time for you guys to meet up again and this is a true love once you meet this one you won't <laughs> be confused you won't doubt it you'll know this is your one you you'll be able to look in their eyes and say man you, you seem so familiar to me like i've known you my whole life you've known them many lifetimes and now it's time for them to come back into your life and you into theirs and live your best life this is serendipity Go right ahead, Capricorn. Next card we got. <laughs> Woo, powerful magic, the ace of magic. So you can't get higher than this as far as magic goes. This wand right here is everything because you can create anything. You can even do that with the magician, but this is even, uh, even higher than the master magician. This is like supreme magic, and this is like the hand of God magic. So with this... You can do anything. Make sure you use it correctly and to your advantage because this is a superpower. This is like being a superhero when you get this. It's like ultimate manifestations to bring whatever you want to you, like true love, like serendipity. Go right ahead, Capricorn. Next card we got. Whoa, the Queen of Pentacles. So looks like this king of magic has an ace of magic, and he's calling in his queen. Or it's a queen calling her king. All in all, this is an offer of love. And it's going to be blessed in magic and in spiritually divine connection. <laughs> it's supposed to be. I think I got to brighten this, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can see this water over here. Got a sailboat coming in. What a beautiful, beautiful time. Okay, next card we got. Oh, the sun. Oh, wow. This just got really, really good for you, Capricorn. This is the best card in the deck. You can't lose. So not only are you headed for summertime and you're going to have great energy around you, abundance, freedom, peace of mind, feeling how you ought to feel, just free as a little baby, you know, ready to take on the world. And this is with the one you're supposed to be with. This is with like destiny with your one of destiny like faded one like the the one you're supposed to meet up with and it's frequency a lot of times this is all about frequency the right timing you might not be ready for one another at one point in time but when the time is right that's when spirit brings them to you and this is what it'll feel like <laughs> it's gonna make you feel 
like this, abundant, super magical. And this queen is gonna live her best life. Go right ahead, and that'll be your best wife. <laughs> okay, next card we got. Five of Pentacles. So this is just showing, you know, this is time for an upgrade. You went through all the struggle and the strife in this past life, this past, you know, time of your life where things were hard, they were difficult. You couldn't lift your head and sing sanctuary. You were robbing Peter to pay Paul or asking anybody to help, family members, friends. And, you know, this is trying. This is very trying on us to, you know, be in lack and not see a way out but just know if you ask put it out there let the let people know you need help just that's all we have to do is if that's all we got then spirit will help from there we have to be able to put ourselves out there be vulnerable let people know we need help and this is probably the help you're gonna get this might be the one to help you is this queen of pinnacles she can help this couple out and looks like it's going to give them an opportunity to be blessed. So it could be a mother, grandmother, you know, or it could be your new love. And she's going to take you out of this. But all in all, this queen is very instrumental in taking you from here to feeling here, here, <laughs> here, and here. <laughs> That's going to be because of that queen. Next card we got. Holy smokes, this is a true love reading, Capricorn. So this is all about true love. <laughs> Nothing else but true love. This might have been a, a time where you guys were struggling, or this is a past relationship, or about to be a past relationship. It's not really clear, but all in all, this is an upgrade. This is about to be an upgrade in love. This is someone you're destined to be with, and you're destined to have this queen, king, and this queen is destined to have you, and this is you and her. The sky is blue, and you got that big golden yellow sun, magical ones <laughs> and this is true love this is serendipity this is who you're supposed to be with you can't get better than looking deeply into someone's eyes someone's eyes that you love deeply you love deeply their eyes should tell you how much they love you you can feel it resonating between their two hearts it's like a glow like a glow flow you feel in your heart it's like you can tell it's lit up you can't see it because it's inside but you feel it that's this you can't beat this this is twin flame soulmate love and it's yours go ahead capricorn you got a beautiful reading of love next card we got yep the four cups so this is coming in you don't see it you might be closed off to it his arms are closed legs are closed he doesn't see what's about to happen for him just know spirit has a blessing on your life and it could be your king your queen your husband or your wife and this is an opportunity coming in for you and this is a knight of pentacles he's the slowest moving knight but he could bring abundance of love career opportunity it looks like it's gonna be love next card we got yeah another opportunity two of wands so this is all about an opportunity coming into you it's gonna come in a small package but it's gonna blow up and expand real real big into everything you've ever wanted that's how god does it so you know it's his signature a lot of times god makes everything simple but he will give you something intricate make it simple but it has his signature on it. So it'll come in small and expand all the way out into being exactly what you wanted. So don't turn any opportunity down. Weigh the pros and cons of everything coming to you. Nine of wands. So this is someone ready to give up. They tax. They don't have nothing else to give. And they're about to quit. Do not quit. Go for the next wand. Just live in the moment. The here and now. And you'll get there. Don't look back to the past. Don't go to the future. You can a little bit. That's okay. But you don't want to stay there. You want to be here, present now, so you can go take each step. It doesn't matter. One step at a time. Just keep taking that step, the next step, and the next step. That's how you get to the 10th one and graduate. You're on your way. Next card we got. Seven of Cups. So this is confusion. Not sure what to pick. To me, this is just about choosing something of substance, something 
worth something of value instead of something trivial something that'll you know fizzle out over time and you won't care about it choose something that will last the test of time next card last card yep five of cups so this is turn around remember you got two cups to stand and two cups to stand and turn around so this could have been an actual physical death where you lost someone like i did my queen passed we never really lose them because they're all around us and they're trying to communicate so just know this is just the death of our physical form our body form but we're still here in our spirit form and there's many versions of us don't think you're just the only version of yourself there's many versions of ourselves many versions of just you many versions you could be a black person you could be a white person you could be a man you could be a lady i'm starting to see faces that I know all over the world and they're twins of other people I already know. This is who we are, y'all. We're everywhere, we're everything, everywhere, all at once. So physical death is just the body. It's just this, this right here, this <laughs> meat suit or whatever you wanna call it, it's just this. We are more than just our bodies, we are spirit. And when this time comes, it's okay. As long as we lived our lives and did the things that we wanted to do and had the life we wanted to